Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, I'm unbagging Korea, the Mobile War. This is a solitaire war game designed by Joseph Miranda and published in Strategy and Tactics Magazine, number 349. All right, so before I get started, I do want to say this is actually the first issue of a subscription to Strategy and Tactics Magazine that I purchased. So never subscribed to a magazine war game. I've always just purchased issues as I saw them, but there's it, the subscription was for six issues. And the next out of the next six, there's four or five that I'm interested in. So I figured, you know what, might as well subscribe and uh, save a little money on each issue. So, but the only thing that annoys me, um, I gotta get this off my chest here, is so this issue, my first one for the subscription, came in this, this, that's it. No plastic, no, no plastic Ziploc bag, nothing to protect it. It just literally came in here. So now when I, you know get the map out and I punch all the counters and everything, I'm going to have to come up with a different bag or find something else to put everything in. Just a little interesting because every single Strategy and Tactics magazine I've ever gotten has come in an actual Ziploc bag, not just a little paper envelope. So whatever, it is what it is. Okay, let's get to the game here. So Korea the Mobile War focuses on the first year of the war, right? When it was, it was actually, a, it wasn't static. It wasn't kind of the trench style. It was back and forth. It was, um, you know, the North Korea pushing South Korea to the brink. UN and UN command, um, predominantly made up the United States, but also other nations, um, pushing back North Korea, going all the way up to the Yalu River, and then Chinese intervention, and then you push back, pushing back up to the 38th parallel, and then the war kind of becoming a stalemate there, right? So this focuses on that first year when there was that back and forth swing. All right, let's look at the magazine, and then we'll look at the counters and the map. Um, as usual, I film in 4K, so if you say anything that you you know I didn't show off, I didn't take time with, I went pretty quick with, just go ahead and you can pause it. Make sure it's in 4K. Check the bottom right of the screen. Check the little gear icon. You can adjust and put it on 4K. All right, so strategy and tactics, number 349. So again, you're going to get a full magazine, right? There's going to be articles on the game. There's going to be articles on different topics, which is one of the things I do love about at, at, uh, his, um, of magazine war games is you get those articles covering different parts of history. So this one obviously focusing on, again, the Korean War, first year of the Korean War. Full color magazine. Magazine's been around for decades since before I was I was born. Well, it's the longest running military history magazine. There you go. Number 349. So you can get a little hint or a little see if you pause it again. You can see kind of what's in here. So, on design is going to be about this game from Joseph Miranda. Work in progress. Looks like future games. Different articles from Joseph Miranda. Some flashpoints of what's going on around the world right now. For your information. And then we're going to have the rules for this and then what's in the next issue. Korea and the Mobile War. The Bay at Incheon. September 15th, 1950. Um, the UN... UNC landing here, right behind the lines. All right, you're gonna have maps, you're gonna have pictures, you're gonna have text, just describe, I'm giving you the backstory, I'm gonna give you the backstory, the conflict, you can see usually the military is described in it in more detail. Always, again, a nice thing to read beforehand before you dive into the game itself. Speaking of the game itself, here are the rules. It's going to be 16 pages of rules. I believe pretty much all of their, um, yep, so 16 pages of rules. And the lovely thing about these, the best thing, they peel out very nicely, just right off the, uh, like a little uh, glue or adhesive strip. And, oh, voila, it comes right out. God, I love that. And then we'll peel that off later. Very nice. So we have the rules already to go. So Korea, the Mobile War, I've done a little bit of reading on it, a little bit of research. So... This game is we won, and we'll look at the map in a second, where um, you play as the UNC, um, you know, United Nations Command, the system handles North Korea and then China. Looking at the map, or looking, excuse me, at the counters and the information, the rulebook, full color, two column, pretty standard at this point for um, decision games, releases in general, and then their magazine war games. It's a Joseph Miranda design, so you know you're going to have an extensive sequence of play with multiple segments. That's just how he does it. So, sequence of play, the detailed sequence of play is from here to here. So, if you can see that. You're determining random events, checking common logistics, your own logistics, 
airstrike and naval power phases. You're going to have impulses where, the depending on the communist um, strategy, they're going to either be moving and attacking or uh, falling back. You have your UNC player operational phase, first, potentially second impulse. Any air units refit for air. You have, um, you're also going to have sea-based um, attack units as well as air, you can airdrop units and you can also conduct uh, amphibious invasions. So there's a, kind of a lot going on in this magazine war game. Not a ton of examples. Instead, what you see here is you'll see some red text for important notes. Um, the blue will be examples. So it's small, it's small, just a couple here in the, these two pages. All right. Again, with my recons, I'll do an overview. I'll show the game off, but I'm not trying to teach you the game. So, all right, let's look at the counters here. All right. Again, should be in 4K. Pause it if you need to. So we have our U.S. forces here. We have um, ROC forces, and these are optional. So if uh, Taiwan enjoy, and joins in, um, optional, very optional. Um, South Korea forces here. And then I know there are, yep, so United Nations, right? So different sort of um, the smaller contribution, still valuable, but smaller contribution. So um, the United States made up approximately 90% of the um, foreign combat forces under the UNC. So, yeah. Here you have those air units I talked about, right? And of course, North Korea's units, and then People's Republic of China, or Communist China here. So, let's check the backside of them. For instance, the North Koreans, you can see the units, right? Pretty much all of them you can see, for the most part. There's a couple you can't. Here are the red China units. You notice they will have a untried side, this back side, that then gets revealed, and you get to see the units later. So give you that fog of war aspect, right? The counters are thicker than the white core. I think they're pretty much done with the white core for all their new games, so it's the brown core. A little thicker. Um, they should punch. Yep, they'll punch pretty well here, punch pretty easily probably going to clip on myself but of course do as you would like to do so all right now let's get you know what let's get this map up all right here's the map spread out for korea the mobile war not going to win an awards for beauty but it actually looks very functional so again the solitaire war game right you are controlling south korea and the unc forces north korea china is going to be coming in, entering the conflict at some point, and there's going to be a lot of back and forth here, right? So if you notice here, these thick black lines, those are going to be moving along these different spaces, these different spaces um, down here on the train key in the bottom I kind of left over here. You can see what each of these spaces is for types of terrain. The enemy forces are going to be moving there is, you can see A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. A, B, C, and D. You're moving south, you're moving north. You're going to be able to make landings, right? Make landings and try to land behind the enemy forces, trying to cut them off, trying to um, get rid of their LOC line of communication, which will hopefully allow you to mop them up faster um, and move your forces north. So, a lot of holding boxes, a lot of charts on here. That's good. Um, very busy looking outside of the play map. Play map itself looks pretty easy to read. I think it's gonna be super easy to actually play on. You know, we got things like North Korean reinforcements, Red Chinese reinforcements, communist anti-air, communist logistics. Because at AA, you're gonna have, you can um, conduct missions to try to reduce the communist AA, right? So at some point when the Chinese entered and then the MiG-15 entered the conflict, right? The US released the Sabres, right? Sent them over, F-86 Sabres, sent them over. And so then that kind of neutralized the MiGs. You had, you know, MiG Alley up here um, fighting, but you know, you have those different parts of the game. Like I said, I've, I've done some research on this game and kind of seen what it offers. And uh, I do like what it what it offers. So um, your, logist, your logistics here, your different naval missions, cargo missions, airstrike missions, uh, what forces you have in Japan, obviously you're going to, a lot of forces in Japan continuing to get moved into Korea for the fight, and all kinds of charts, whether it's random events, 
you're uh, spending your logistics points, what it costs, movement allowances, communist reinforcement tables, air warfare, tactical fire, <gasps> train effect charts, air warfare again, <gasps> Whew, all kinds of stuff on this map, on this board here. Turns again, first turn, June 1950. It goes until June of 1951, turn 13. So, Whew, all right, that is a quick and dirty overview of Korea, the mobile war. I am definitely looking forward to this one. Like I said, just got it in. Um, when you see this video, probably haven't had it for a couple weeks, but really excited about this one. Really looking forward to checking it out. Um, yeah, let me know if you have checked this one out before. Um, it just came out, but if you haven't yet, if you're a subscriber, if you're gonna pick it up, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you made it this far, always appreciate a subscription, always appreciate thumbs up, and comments are even more important. So until next time, everybody, later.